Hello and welcome to Crouton Cracker Jacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious and hearty chicken, corn, and bacon chowder. These are the ingredients that you'll need. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off by making up some chicken stock here. In my Dutch oven, I have got two split chicken breasts with the bone and skin still on. I'm going to add one chopped up carrot, one stalk of celery that's been chopped, half of a yellow onion, and two bay leaves to that. I'm going to add in two quarts of cold water to this. I'm also going to add in two cloves of garlic, half of a teaspoon of dried thyme, and about one and a half teaspoons or so of salt. I'm gonna turn the heat on to high and bring this up to a boil. Now once this comes up to a boil, you will see this nasty scum floating on the surface. You wanna skim all that stuff out with a ladle. That is all the impurities in the chicken, the nastiness, you really don't want that in your finished stock. And I'm gonna cook this for about 45 minutes until my chicken is cooked thoroughly. Now after 45 minutes, I'm going to remove my split chicken breasts from the pot. I'm just gonna put these onto a plate and set them off to the side to cool a little bit before I go to pull them apart. And all that stock, I'm going to strain through a strainer into a large bowl. Now you should have about one and a half quarts, maybe one and three quarter quarts of finished chicken stock here. If you have less than that, just add some water to bring it up to about one and three quarters of a quart. Next, I've got four medium sized red potatoes here, and I've gone ahead and peeled those, and I'm just gonna cut these into pieces, maybe half inch size cubes or so. And when I get those cut up, I'm going to put them into a bowl of water, so that way they don't turn funky colors on me. Now you could use russet potatoes if you want, if you have those on hand. You could also use Yukon Gold. Whatever potatoes you happen to have on hand is perfectly fine. I'm also going to finely chop a yellow onion and put that off to the side. And finally, I'm going to chop up two stalks of celery. And I like to cut these in half lengthwise before I chop them up, just because I don't like any real huge pieces of celery in my finished soup. Just go ahead and chop those up and again set those off to the side with the onions. And also just real quick before I get the soup started, I'm going to shred up my chicken. Just take the meat off the bones and pull that apart into pieces. You could cut that if you want to. I kind of like the look and texture of pulled apart chicken, so I'm just going to pull it apart with my fingers to about bite-sized pieces. And of course the skin goes to Bruno. And now we're ready to make up our soup. I've put my large pot back onto the burner over medium high heat. I didn't bother to clean it out or anything after I strained the stock out of it. It's all, you know, extra flavor in there. And I've got four pieces of thick cut bacon. And using a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut this up into pieces directly into the pot. You could use a knife and a cutting board if you want. I just find this quicker and easier. And I'm going to brown this up over medium high heat until a little bit of that fat has been rendered out of the bacon. And once our bacon has released most of its fat and started to get crispy, I'm going to add in my onions and celery. And I'm gonna saute those for about five to six minutes or until the onion starts to get just a little bit brown around the edges. And you'll see all that deliciousness at the bottom, all those brown bits. You wanna get all those bits up because there is a lot of flavor in those. So I'm just gonna add a couple cups of chicken stock to my pot and using my spoon, I'm just gonna scrape all that deliciousness up off of the bottom of the pan. And once all that deliciousness is up, I'm going to add in the rest of my chicken stock. Once my chicken stock is in there, I'm going to add in my potatoes. And again, over medium high heat, I'm going to bring this up to a boil and I'm gonna cook those potatoes until they are fork tender. Now for the particular potatoes that I am using, that ended up being about 12 minutes or so. Uh, just test them with a fork, make sure that they are done. When your potatoes are fork tender, you wanna add in a 14 and a half ounce can of cream style corn, as well as a 14 and a half ounce can of plain kernel corn. And you wanna drain that corn before you add it in. I'm just gonna stir that up a little bit. And I like my soup a little bit thicker, more of a creamier consistency. So I'm going to add in about a quarter of a cup of cornstarch mixed with about half a cup of water into there, and that will thicken up my soup quite a bit. Give me more of a true chowder consistency. You also want to add in another half a teaspoon of dried thyme. And now is also the time that you want to check it for salt. Make sure that it's seasoned sufficiently for your tastes. Now all you really have to do with this cornstarch to get it thick is bring it up to a boil. And once that is up to a boil and your corn is heated through, 
You wanna add your chicken back into the pot and stir that around to get that heated up again. And then finally, to put the soup over the edge, I'm going to add in one cup of heavy whipping cream. You could also use half and half or whole milk for this. I just happened to have some extra cream in the refrigerator that needed to be used up from my tiramisu. And you wanna stir this together and just bring it up to a bubble. Make sure that everything is warmed through. And there you go, how to make chicken and corn and bacon chowder. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. If you missed my previous video, click on the picture and it will take you to that video. And if you'd like to follow me on Google Plus and or Facebook, there will be links in the description box. Make sure to check those out. And thanks so much for watching. Bro, sit. Give me five. Good boy. There you go.